Right, if you're struggling with the quality of your strike right now, then I've got a very, very basic but effective drill that will help you improve, no doubt. What you're gonna need is two irons and one head cover, and this will ensure you start to strike every club in the bag just that little bit better. Let's get this thing started with, first of all, we're gonna use an iron along the floor and a head cover. Well, that'll come into effect a little bit later on in the video. This video, by the way, comes from my favorite and yours, Alex Elliott. We've got another very, very quick but effective drill, and I like this one a lot. We don't really need a golf ball just yet either. What happens is, and what we're gonna look at, is how we keep our takeaway uh, sort of square for as long as possible before we start sort of coming inside, rotating the wrist, doing all kinds of different things that make it very, very difficult to get back to square at impact. So for me, as a prime example, if anyone's watched the channel for some years, you'll know I've got a terrible habit of coming very much inside on the takeaway. So instead of uh, I'm engaging all kinds of things in terms of my wrist, in terms of my shoulder turn, and like I said, I'm inside and I've got a bit of work to do then to get that club face square through that impact position. That can be really, really difficult. So let's try and make that life or life a little bit simpler for me and hopefully for you if you do that. And what we're looking to do is we're basically looking to engage the body a little bit more in the takeaway as opposed to all being all arms and shoulders if you like so what will we do the, f the club is on the floor for one simple reason we're going to use it to push away in a straight line so take your normal address position club face in front of the butt of the club and then all you're going to do is you're going to push away now that seems a uh, simple enough drill. I reckon if I can do that pretty much all you can too. But what you'll notice is it keeps my body very much engaged with the club and the ground. It also keeps my club head very, very square still until here. It also for me keeps my hands and club head in front of my body. Whereas the difference would be, I'm just gonna move that back. And if I try and do that same thing with my current takeaway, what you'll see is the club head starts to twist and my normal takeaway, and I've seen it many, many times before and been told I do it uh, wrong many, many times before, is I'll be very much inside. I'll be starting to open the club face up and then I've got to say, work a little bit of hands to get it back square at impact. So all you're doing and vice versa, I mean, the, the issue I have is like come inside, but if you try to do the same thing, and if you lifted your hands out, you'll again, you'll find it very, very difficult to push the club back in a straight line. So, I'm out of breath doing this by bending up and down. Get your address position, get the club in a, uh, in a straight line with your feet, and all you're gonna do is start to push back. And when you start pushing back, you'll see that all that's happening is my arms are staying fully extended, which is already a sort of great position for me to be in, a far better one than me being wrapped around here already. And like I said, it starts to keep me low to the ground and also engages the body in a good position rather than my uh, usual turning inside and then having to work my way back. And then all you're doing then, let's get a ball in play I'll have a little bit of look at where we're aiming. And it's all about a lot of these drills that you've seen on all of these channels or what I'm taking note from. It's about a feel. So getting a feel within your swing. So now what I've got to try and do is how did that feel? I've got no club head now. I'm out on the golf course and I can't use the golf club to, uh, to, to help me assist with this drill. So I've got to sort of realize what that feeling is. And that feeling was something like this. So that was my takeaway. So now I've got to see if I can do that and hit a golf ball. So I'm going to push away. I want you to see first of all, that's a towering ball flight, a real crisp strike, a little bit short in terms of the iron I've used. Interesting to see as well, divot, low point after the ball. That's been something I've been working on as well. So that's really nice to see. 
probably didn't engage too much of our body turn i'd like to have turned a little bit more maybe concentrated on this one element and that's also something i talk about a lot is often we can get sort of very rigid and robotic concentrating on this one element of the swing so if i was doing this now in the driving range i'd push that back a good few times and try and be a little bit smoother than perhaps that swing was so that's the first phase but we're going to move the golf club out of the way and we're going to bring in the driver head cover and another golf ball for another little drill if you like that might engage your brain better than that one did driver head cover let's place it maybe just a couple of feet directly behind the ball or the two balls as you can see all this is really is it's another drill effectively exactly the same method but I always think whenever you've had lessons is that you can go through a number of different coaches and some of them will explain an element that uh, sort of sinks in and works for you and others make things very, very complicated and that sort of explanation doesn't work for you. So we're just looking at another drill that might work better than pushing a club back, but effectively it's the same thing. I'm in my standard address position with an iron. The ball in the front, the yellow striped ball is the one obviously I'm looking to strike. The ball behind, all I'm looking to do is push away. Push away and we're using the, uh, the head cover simply as a bit of a ball catcher. And it's as simple as that. But what you'll find is we've got exactly the same kind of position to be able to do that as what we were in using the, uh, the, uh, the golf club behind to push away. Now what it does, again, apart from staying sort of low to the ground, club head being square, it stops you from picking up and chopping, which is a real big issue for a lot of people. They're in this position and they want to get to the top of the backswing as fast as they can, instead of extending both arms out, keeping them straight for as long as possible. So all we're going to do again is just push it out and again, I know from my own personal swing, and you try this and test this one out for yourself, but straight away, I recognize that that's a much better position for me to be in at the halfway point than I normally am. Now, what I do throughout the rest of the swing, well, that's a separate story, and that's why I say there's no sort of, none of these tips that I've seen on YouTube are a, 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 a fix that just happens. They're little nuggets of information that might help certain parts of your game and in a way you've got to kind of piece them all together. But without doubt, there's a the takeaway is a fundamental part of the golf swing. And if you get that bit wrong, then you're sort of working on a downer before you've even started. So for me, a real good drill, whichever one you use, is simply, again, last one with this, you'll see straight away to be able to do it. If I come up straight away, that ball isn't moving. You've got to push the ball away and you'll see again, coming into a much better position here. And we'll try again where, let's see if I can just, so that feeling, pushing away. And then let's see if we can hit a golf shot. Push away. That's a much better strike. Really pleased with just how far, I mean, I don't, <laughs> I'm not too sure about my alignment there because I didn't spend a lot of time looking at the flag and that's gone left hand side. Hopefully you can see the buggy there, uh, but the quality of the strike was really, really good and something that I know I will pay a lot of attention to when I'm at that address position and something, a feel that I can get into my own personal swing to improve strike. And that should, for me, resonate through every club in the bag, even though it's been the irons that we've been trying today. And I'll certainly be testing that more and more. Right, I don't know why, but just in a few balls seems to get me out of breath. I think that's talking and hitting golf balls. I'm not fit enough, clearly. Right, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support you've given to this channel. Testing the tips is flying right now. I'm loving what you're doing. Just as a, always a constant reminder, at the moment, there's every chance that you're seeing both, uh, the same video on two channels. But in the weeks ahead, you will only see the tip videos on the Testing the Tips channel. So please make sure that's the one you subscribe to, to make sure you see them in the future and moving forward. But either way, whichever support you give the channel to, greatly appreciated. And I'll see you all soon.